In this video, I'll be starting a new world and vintage story and sharing a few thoughts on how to get a good start. From the start screen, I'm just going to select single player. And create a new world. There's also a randomizer up here. Um, there's different play styles. I'm just going to go with the standard. We also have exploration, wilderness survival, and creative building. Create world. And wait for everything to load. Uh, let's close that. Let's start with a character. Eye color. Hmm. Witches. Voice. We'll leave that alone. Voice pitch. Uh, let's do media. Wow. Uh. Sad, serious, tired, angry, grin. We'll leave all that stuff alone. We can zoom out here and show them trust. Confirm that. Commoner. Leave behind your old life. Crawl into the new world. Commoners are generalists from a multitude of backgrounds. While they have no defining skill skills or strength to speak of, they also lack the weakness of those who specialize. I think I'm going to start with that. Confirm. Now, I have several hours in this game already. On another world. And I know first thing I'm going to need are some tools, shelter, and food. I know shale stones are too soft to make any tools with. Let's check out the map and see where we are. Um, I don't want to stray too far from the spawn point because I believe at least the first few days it's going to be pretty important to stick close. I'm just looking around on the map to see if I could find something like a, a structure. This looks like a trader over here, possibly. I know I'm going to need clay. This might be clay here. Not immediately, but at least in the first couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure. There's some area down here, too. That's a little uh, colored, kind of grayish green. I don't... I'm not super familiar with what all the colors indicate yet. I have found that for shelter, if you could find something that has already been started, like here it looks like almost like a bridge or something, that's helpful to get you going. Um, we want something near water. We want trees. Hmm. Trying to decide. This might be some clay here. That might be a little too dark. Well, 
think what I'm going to do is head off in this direction out of the trees a little more. So I'm going to go northwest. Northwest. Let's just wander around a little bit. See if we can find any berries, any... Here's some flint. Nice stones. Pick those up. I'll need two. I also need... also need to be needing some sticks here. A little bit of water. Try to get out of this dense foliage a little bit here. What do we got here? Shale again. Nope. What's this? That's flint. We can grab that. I can start napping out one of the first things, which is pretty helpful, are some knives. If I bend down, uh, drop my flint on the ground, I can select from a couple of different options here. I'm going to select a knife blade. As long as I have two stones, I can go ahead and nap these out to create the two blades. Knives are important in the beginning because there's a few things you can't create without a knife. Or a collect, I should say. One of the things which is going to be extremely helpful are uh, the cattails. I can make some baskets with those. Allows me to hold a few more items. I know it takes 10 cattails to create a basket. Go ahead and hit E and start crafting this up. We shape this two by two in the form of a basket. Pop that down here and we've got three extra, extra slots to hold things. Where did I see that shale? It's not very helpful. Um, a knife where we can use to actually collect um, grass as well. Whoops, not that. That's a fern. Got some grass here. We're going to need that for a fire later on. If I can find some more flint. There we've got some flint here. I can also, from that, growing bolite mushroom. Use knife to harvest without destroying the roots. Hmm. Well, I didn't grab my knife. Here's some more loose flint. I've never seen mushrooms before. This is a... These are pine trees. I haven't run across those in, in an, uh, the other world I've been playing. Shale, shale, let's get out in the open a little bit more. I have four flint stones here, so let me go ahead and craft up an axe head. Grab that and create an axe. Except that's a knife. They don't last very long, so um, it's not exactly a waste. Except that I don't have any more sticks. Some more loose flint. I need sticks. Where can we find some sticks? Some more flint. 
is a foresty. Oh, here's some more mushrooms. Let me see if I can do this the right way this time. Growing field mushroom. I presume you can eat these? Well, that didn't collect anything. Use a knife to harvest without destroying the roots. Hmm. Oh, maybe because they're growing? I'm not sure. Alright, I still need some sticks. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's see if we can collect... Uh, no, pine leaves. That's not very helpful. Here we have oak leaves. If I could find some leafy branches. Or what do they call them? I forget. Ooh, spout. This will be important later on. Where are we? I should keep track of where we're at. We're on the east side of this lake. Um, trees, 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 trees. Here, maple branchy leaves. Now, these I should be able to just collect from here. And it should drop, yep, sticks. The maple leaves will not work, but if you look for maple branchy leaves, or anything that says branchy leaves, you'll, you'll be collecting the, the sticks. So now I can go ahead and make my axe. I am going to turn the music down a little bit. And let's go ahead and chop one of these trees down. We're going to need some wood for a fire pit. Takes a little while. Collect all those up. Other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out. I'm not interested in holding out of that s seed at the moment. Let's try that again. I don't have a lot of space to work with. I'm not finding a whole lot of food anywhere berries and such. I hear birds. Oop. What do we have over there? Animals you always have to be careful of. That's a ew. She might have babies, then they're very protective. They will attack. What is... oops. This would be a good place for some hunting or trapping of some animals. We need to find some place to shelter. Here's some... I don't know, it's showing me grass. I don't want to look at grass. Some stones of some sort. Um, what do we have over here? We're close to the water. Not far from all the trees. What is the soil? The soil is low fertility. This is not going to be a good place to plant anything. What do we have down here? Here we have medium fertility soil. Well, that'll be good for the future. What is this? Oh, the flower. Uh, let's look around a little bit more. There's some black currants. Without berries. Here we have, ooh, carrots. That'll come in handy. 
Not sure if I should... Ooh. Rye. This'll be good. Let's go ahead and... Let me see. Let me try it with just by hand. Yep, then I get seeds and the... Um, and the greens themselves. I can eat that. This is nice here. We've got all sorts of stuff growing. Um, let's look at the map. Where are we? There's something over here, but... Oh, I see a spot over here. It looks like there's a bit of a Um, a ruin of some sort. Let's go check that out. I mean, technically you can build anywhere. There's some more... Berries and such. Ooh, here we go. Uh, current cranberries. Great. I don't know why. I'd... Oh, hit the wrong button. That's why. Let's put that back. So now I have some cranberries. Let's keep going. Some trees over here. Water. Some more cranberries. What do we got here? Sandstone. What is this? Oh, fire clay. What? Fire clay. Hmm. Never heard of that before. Okay, right mouse button. Let's try that. There we go. All right, uh, map. There's a circular structure over here, too. We went way too far north. Let's go south a little bit. See what else we can find. Lead. Nice. Lead orbits. Alright. This is nice, but yeah, that's bad. Oop, drifters. Yeah, we don't want to really be hanging out by those guys, but I wonder if I could block that up at all. There's trees over here, a lot of, a lot of water, medium fertility soil all over. I think I might start building something up here. Gives us kind of a good start. The axe will not last very long. I have six flint. What else do we have around here? Do we have anything else? That is sandstone, which is pretty useless. It's not hard enough to make any tools with. We've got animals. We've got the lead. That's kind of nice. I haven't worked with any lead yet. Hmm. I'm 
just sort of debating. I'd like to start with something. Rather than just digging a hole in the ground. But it's totally not re not a requirement. What else we got on the map? Um Not sure. One thing let me let me check one thing. Let's go back and see. <laughs> Let's go back and see what that clay looks like. Let me take some of this up once and see. That's just going to give us regular useful clay bits. I don't know. Um, baking to eight pieces bake into one hardened fire clay. Can be formed into basic pottery items. Okay. Um, tell you what. Fire clay. Let's go ahead and check the survival guide see what fire clay means clay deposits are found okay so I, I guess it doesn't really matter so not desert high enough temperature so not the Arctic they can be found at any elevation you may notice them on the map as semicircular spots of slightly different color from surrounding grass all right so this is good. Um, we can't do a whole lot with it, or we're not going to do a whole lot with it right this minute, but in the beginning it's going to be important to have access to that stuff for making uh, vessels, storage vessels and such. So let me start clearing this out a little bit here. on building a simple shelter before nightfall. We've got, what do we have? We've got a few berries. far away. Alright, um... We've got a little bit of wood. Let's go ahead and break up some of this stuff here. Stone block slabs or blocks on uh, as a floor. Why can't I get those? Because I don't have room.
I have to get rid of something. Let's chuck that. Oh. I find if you're trying to drop items, it's best oftentimes to throw them off a, a ledge a little bit. Because otherwise they just end up back in your inventory almost immediately. So, um, I like to use these blocks on the on the floor because then you don't have grass growing up. But I think for now we're just going to, we need to be in a little bit more of a hurry right now. Because it's going to get dark out. It is 7 o'clock. Why can't I grab that? Granite cobblestone, granite cobblestone. Why is it not letting me pick that up? That's kind of weird. Regardless, um... What do you need to do is... I'm not going to do that. Let's swap oh. this one up. And, of course, I need food. I'm going to do oh. this. And I need to start... How am I going to do this? I don't need a big area right now, so... Still trying to figure out. There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't let me grab that before, but. Oh, because it's a. That's why. Because it's a different block. So let's just throw down some stuff for now. Some walls, and I'll need a roof. And then try to survive through the night without starving to death. Trying to do this before it gets so dark that I can't see a thing. It's getting so dark now. It's pretty difficult already where am I great ran out of blocks I need I think at least two more That does the trick. Where am I? I think this and that. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some firewood. What else do I need? I also need. fire starter. Let's get rid of that. No, I did that wrong. Here we go. Two sticks. There's my starter. And if I throw down... I have my button switched around. Um, control and shift. I've um, swapped 
because in most uh, survival games, shift is a, a run button, so I find that to be a little bit more convenient. Just that I have it. So, if I throw that down, and I add one, two, three, four firewood, we should be able to ignite this. Hmm. Apparently my block blocks are a little off. It's it so horribly dark at night. Great, now I can't pick them up. Alright, so let's drop... What am I going to drop? Well, you know what I can do here. Let's do this instead. Let's put that in there. And then we can go ahead and block this up. So now I am all enclosed and should be pretty safe, I believe. Nobody can get in that small space there. But I do need to stand back from there. We're pretty much going to have to wait the night out. I'm going to need some more food. We have... This rye. Rye grains. I can eat that. I don't know if that fills you up anymore. What do we get? One bar. I think berries are not very fulfilling. Let's check that. Oh, pretty close it looks like. What do we got in here for wood? Let's go ahead and craft up some more logs for the fire. Put that in there. And wait. It's almost midnight, 11 o'clock. Sun starts to come up about 5 a.m., I believe. We've got some water over here. We can go make, uh, grab some more reeds and make some more baskets. We can hold four of them. Which gives us three, six, nine, twelve, twelve inventory slots. Those are the first things you can make are the baskets, they're the easiest. The other thing we're going to need to worry about is more food. We can scout around in the morning for some more bushes. Killing animals at this stage is probably not a very viable option. They hit pretty hard. And it takes a lot to kill them. I mean, even things like chickens and rabbits, they're, they're, they can be hard to run down, too. Those are, the smaller animals are a little bit easier to kill. I think it takes maybe, you know, three shots with a spear.
but sometimes that are they can be hard to hard to track hard to catch up with I kind of like to find a spot near this um, medium fertility soil. I haven't seen any high fertility soil, but the medium, at least I know I can grow some stuff in it, and we do have some seeds. Well, I've got one seed here. Growth time is five days, which is not great, but we did find some carrots and such. I think those the growth time is four days. What do we have for time? Twelve, one o'clock in the morning. Later on, once you have a, a, a bigger, better shelter built, you can start cooking meals and things so you have stuff to do at night. But you really can't go out at night at all. At least I'm not able to. Um, it's so dark and it's really dangerous out there. Those drifters that are kind of monkeyish looking things. They will find you. I don't. It doesn't matter where you're at. They will find you at a certain time of the evening, and they're pretty hard to kill. Usually, it takes like two spears to kill them. If you have like flint spears, eat some more berries. Hopefully, we can make it through the night. Food is a big priority. Later on when you can start growing things and such, that that helps a lot. We might make it without dying the first night. That would be great. What do we got for firewood? We should have plenty. Later I'll go and replace this floor, I think, with these cobblestone slabs. Otherwise you'll get grass growing up in your house. I always find that a little bit annoying.
It's also kind of nice to have a little bit of a window to the east so you can see when the sun's starting to come up. Getting there. We should have plenty of food. I could go ahead and nap out a hoe. I've got a stick, two sticks left. Why don't we do that? Whole head. We can plant the one seed we've got. If you hit the G button, I find it a little bit easier usually to navigate around these things. Head. We're gonna need some more sticks. But we've got that. We got our seed. So where are we? We're here. Now I know I, th I know water is a factor. So, let's look at farming. Dry, wet, uh... Let's look here in the progression guide. Pottery, Stone Age, farming, moisture. Crops need moisture to grow. Planting crops within three blocks of water will help them maintain good moisture level levels. However, you can grow crops even on ground with no water nearby by using a watering can. Now, I'd rather not make a watering can because you need, I think you need a lot of clay for that and then it takes a while to, to, to bake the pot, the, to bake the watering can. And the first couple of days there's going to be so much stuff to try and do in order to survive through the night that it's probably not really worth the effort right now. It'd be nice if we can just get down toward this little pond here, maybe. Or even this larger one. And plant close to the water. I'm not totally sure how that works. So, I still hear drifters. We can see the sun coming up. Time is it? It's almost five o'clock. They don't totally go away just when the sun comes up. You can often see them running around a little bit. What we could do is um, open our fire pit and conserve. Or wood. Well, no, I can't. Not really, because I don't have a place for it. Let's... What do I got? Let's break this one out. See if they're gone.
the problem with the water over there is I always have to try and navigate through here, which is difficult. I wonder if I can sort of block that out a little bit. Recover it a, a touch. Make like a land bridge or something so I can get over there. Let's go ahead and break some of these. I think what I'll do is I'll just wait until my axe breaks so I have room to pick these guys up. Shouldn't be too long. I didn't need to do that, but the axe was almost done for anyway. Let's see, um, knife? Oh, I know, we've got this extra knife too. Let's grab some of these. Come out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. So that at least, oh, I think I got a stick out of that. I don't want to grab too much more of this grass. Because it's going to want to create another slot. So let's go ahead and start blocking this in here once. Maybe I could even keep those guys down there a little bit. So they're not bothering me. Trying to kill me. Alright. What do we got here? Um, let's go ahead and grab some of these cattails. As long as I just clip the tops, I can, I can make the... I can make the baskets, and these will grow back. If I if I cut down any further, the cattails won't grow back. But in the beginning, food is such an issue. Sometimes you want to cut the whole thing, like I just did there, and I get a root, and I can cook those. don't know if cattails are good for anything else later on. But I, I like, I don't like to strip everything. In case I need something later on. You know, if, if these cattails need to grow back for something else I need to make. So, what do we got? We got 12. Let's go ahead and craft up another basket. There we go. Two and two. Okay. So now we've got that. Let's grab some more cattails. What do we got now? We got ten. We need ten more. See if we can fill out our basket limit. Oh. Whoop. Might want to eat. I think I will go ahead and grab some of these roots as well so we've got some a little bit of food to cook last the evening through through the evening I 
Alright, I have way too many cattails now. What's this? Loose flint. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's grab some... Some branches. Branchy leaves. Branchy leaves. Branchy leaves. So those are, that'll give me some more sticks. Now I'm gonna craft the rest of these baskets. There's one. I need... Um, there. There we go. Now let's go ahead and I think I'm just gonna chuck these for now. Save some space. I need... What do I need? I need a another axe. Okay. We've got a couple sticks. We're going to need more of those. Every time we craft a, a tool, we need a stick. That's kind of high. Let's get over here, see if I can find some more branchy leaves. There we go. Let's try this tree over here. Whoops, there we go. Branchy leaves. Um, we don't have a ton of trees over here. Here's a stick. Oh, planting. That's what we were going to do. I think, for now... Clear this area out a little bit here. Oh, I know what I could do. Except I don't have a knife. I need open area here. I need to make another knife. The knife blades always always make two when you're napping anything out or when you're napping these out. and make two of those right away. Spare. What do we got? The hole. Um, where are we? Looking for my knife. Let's go ahead and Dig that thing up. Get it out of the way. Clean this area up a little bit. And I'm going to grab my hoe. One, two, three. I'm just gonna do this right here. And then we'll go ahead and plant our rice seed. Oh, you know what I forgot? 
I wonder. Let me try something. I'm gonna grab this block and I'm gonna set it. Nope, maybe I'll need two. I was having problems with this. Planting seeds, darn it, that's not what I wanted. And I'd come back the next day and the seeds would be gone. So I found out that um, you probably need fences, but I wonder if I wonder if that'll do anything. I don't know how protected they need to be. I don't have a lot of branches, so I don't want to make a whole fenced in area right this minute. Um, I'm going to plant this birch seed too. Because we're going to need plenty of trees. So, that should be growing. Um, where do we have trees? We got, well, we got quite a few trees over here. Or a couple trees, anyway. Let's go ahead and chop one of these guys down. I'm going to grab the any branchy leaves first because I don't think you get them if you, once you chop the tree down was that one? where did it go? there it is the fences and gates take um do we use logs and logs the logs and the and the sticks all right I think that's close let's go ahead and chop this guy down need to do here is make myself a little bit more room. wonder if I could just do this instead of wasting my axe. This should work. build uh, a pit in order to start making any pottery. save myself a little bit if I dig this all out. Let me grab 
some of these guys down here. Down to bedrock here. Wanna use these for the walls? Because they don't catch on fire. My axe is gonna break pretty soon. Oh, look at that! Nice. Maybe we've got some food in here. Crack vessel. What do we get? Hmm. Bandage. Nice. And some andesite. I'm not sure what that is. I think... Oh! Maybe that is... For the for the bandages, I think. I think I, I looked that up once. Great. Oh. Need to eat something. And I need to get out of here. Let's go ahead and grab all these blocks. Start placing some stuff in here. So I can get out. Let's get over here. See if that works. Okay. Probably don't need to put all these back, but I always feel like I need to fill in the hole I made. <laughs> okay, so what is my ground level? This is the ground level I want. So I'm going to put that there. I need to make another... Axe. Where did that guy go? Okay. I don't want this stone. do here is this is my ground level that's my pit I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna take this one out and this one out and put this in here and that in there the rest of this can pretty much stay what it stay like it is for now but I should be able to put my when I fire the clay I should be able to put that in there so the other thing I want to do is I gotta put this back before it gets dark out hmm I don't really need to go that high right one two well I'm not gonna worry about it we'll just we'll just do this for now Just work with what I've got. Um, how big do I need this? Probably not too super big. I'll, I'll fix it later. Straighten it out. Organize it. How many do I have left? Whoop. Not what I wanted. Then I think if I do this, and let's grab a couple more. that and 
that. And then I'll make a... I can make a door. How do I do that? Um... Stick, stick, st stick. I think it's logs. And then X. Yep. There we go. Now, if I stand in here... Where's my knife? Oh, really? Should be able to put my door right there. Cool. What time is it? Three o'clock? Four o'clock? I need food. So we got that set up. Other thing we need to do is make some more firewood. I think what I'll do is over here. Let's lay down some grass. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to start it, but I'll know where it's at anyway. So, let's go search. Let's spend a little bit of time. I don't remember when it gets dark. I, I'm not sure I even ever looked. But I'm going to need to find some food. There's a raccoon. Oh, here we go. Um... I should have left that back there, but oh well. We got berries. I know we had stuff off in the other direction. Oop, here's some berries. What I could do... Do I have room? No. I, well, I do have room. Let's get rid of that. Let me go ahead and grab these bushes, because I can plant these near me, so at least I don't have to go looking for them. I don't tend to do that once they've flowered, but before they flower... What's down there? Oh, look at that. What is that? Flint in sandstone. Hmm. Whoa! Looks like... No, that's a butterfly. Let me go ahead and plop some of these guys down. You have to wait for them to flower and then you have to wait for the berries to ripen. careful with the inventory space in the beginning. It's pretty rough. Flax fibers. Hmm. I wonder where that came from. Let me go ahead and replace some of these guys just to just to save some space in my inventory. I can put these down anywhere, but house to... oh darn it. Uh, here we go. Let's try this. Put that there. Actually, what I should do... If I go up here, I think I can put this down. 
Let's see if I can get this right. There we go. Already. We have a little window in there. I still have six more of these things left. Let's break some of these up. Food, food, food. I've only got three of these. I think I'm gonna go grab more of the. Darn it. I don't like that this is like that. I feel like that's not gonna be enough. Let's do this. Let's see if that helps. Keeps the animals out. Let me grab some more roots. I don't know if I have enough food to last the night. It, it goes pretty quick when you're that low, it seems like. Let me grab a couple more. I can always replant these if I don't happen to need them. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. Alright, time is it? It's... 7 o'clock. I think what I'm gonna do... Close the door. Light the fire and hang out. One of the first things I'm going to do is cook up some of these roots. I need to add firewood. Chop this stuff up. There's the first cooked cattail root. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. And a few more so I can survive the evening. I think we have plenty of roots for tonight. And there we are. I think I'm going to end this recording here and we'll continue where we left off next time.